the Anaya Khan Show, and today's show, just not any show, this is a very important discussion that we heard around the world about how important gun safety can be when or when it's not in the right hands of children. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Make sure you guys turn on post notifications so you know every time I post a new video. Let's welcome the cast to the stage. Coming to my show today, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, no problem. So, can you guys tell us your name and what role you play in the waiting? It's Paris. Um, I'm not in the play. I'm the actual sister of Shanta Jordan. Hi, my name is Demaya, and I play Paris Jordan. Hi, my name is London, and I'm Paris's friend. My name is Allison, and I play Shanta's church friend. My name is Ashton, and I play Brandon. Okay, okay. So, do you guys know if your parent has or carries? Yes, my dad does carry a gun. My dad also carries a gun. Neither one of my parents carry. And my mom does not carry a gun. Yeah, mine doesn't either. Yeah, my dad carries a gun, but it's under a safe location. Okay, that brings me to my next question. Do your parents have it under a safe place under lock and key, or is it a place where you can reach it? Um, it's in a safe where it's like safe. Yeah, my dad's gun is also safe. Mine is I. Mom's gun is also safe and a good one. Okay, so do you guys think Shantan was a really good person everyone wanted to be around? Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Even with the role that I play as his church friend, you could really tell like throughout the scenes and production itself that Shantan was a pretty good person. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so what do you guys think guns are used for? I think they're mostly used, well, they can be used for hunting and like hunting any animals or any other sports like that. Yeah, I would say guns play a big role in protecting yourself or others. Yeah. Protection. Mainly okay. protection. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Paris, this is a question for you. Sure. When you first heard of the incident, what was your very first reaction? <sighs> well, the my very first reaction was just, just shock and not knowing exactly what happened. Um, but you know, once I got to uh, the hospital and I saw what was going on, I saw people crying, I saw people praying for him. It was just, basically, I was just emotional. He just teared up. Yes, we're glad he's okay now. Yeah. It's really bad. Yeah. Okay, so who do you guys think guns are in the right hands for? A cop. Yeah, um, I agree. Uh, cops, officers. people who went through the processes with their license. Uh, people in the military. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Military. Veterans. Yeah, okay. So, who do you think in the wrong hands the gun should be used? I would say anybody with just ill intent, you know, yeah. anybody who, you know, isn't wanting to use it for protection or use it for ones, you know, I think that's when it can go left. Yeah, I think that another really good one that nobody's mentioned so far would be like people with mental illnesses. Yeah. Like if someone was to be like suicidal, mm -hmm. then I would feel like they also shouldn't like have any type of weapons or especially a gun in their hands. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. okay, so I got another question for sure. you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so if your mom <laughs> grocery shopping and doing all that, and you had a friend and they start showing off the gun in the accident, what is your next step? I think my first step would be to see if anyone's hurt first. And then after that, I would see if any, like, where did the bullet go? Did it go outside? Did it go through a wall? Fix any damage that happened. That's good. I would yeah. probably be would really frantic, me. actually. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I would know how calm you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's very organized. Yes, yeah, so if you guys also at school, if you heard overheard a conversation, somebody bringing the gun to school or trying to harm someone, what would you guys do? Uh, I would go to like a cop, like a police officer that's in the school. I would go to the police officers, I would talk to the teachers, I would like, like people of higher like authorities know what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, I have been in that type of situation before two years in a row, but uh, when I was in eighth grade, some it was a kid, he came to school with a gun and I, it was like on Instagram, they posted it and they like set a time. And so I decided to go tell like the principal. He was like, okay, we're gonna tell the police to come up here and everything. So we went on lockdown and then like they checked everyone's backpacks. We couldn't leave, our parents couldn't come get us. And then later on throughout the day, the next day, 
they banned backpacks because of the situation that happened before. So, yeah. Yeah, I know for us, somebody did that. And now we got to wear a clear or like mesh backpack. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what was Shantan like growing up? So, Shantan, <laughs> he was very silly. He was um, very enjoyable to be around. I mean, he was my brother. So, of course, we would have fight about whatever, <laughs> compete over silly stuff, but everybody loved him. I mean, girls and guys, like everybody um, always spoke highly of him, uh, especially when everything went down. Like people, I got so many messages, oh my God, I hope he's okay. And you know, looking out for us and our family, but he was, I mean, we called him bug boy, especially when he was little, he loved bugs. <laughs> he would actually bring little insects inside. I hated it because it was disgusting. I don't like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, he was competitive. I mean, he played. He was a marching band. He was very musically inclined. He could sing as well. Um, he did a little bit of everything. But you know, he was mainly just my brother. And, you know, we were we were super close. Yes, yeah, really cool. Okay. Yeah. So, how do you guys feel playing the role, and how did it make you like like just how did how was the experience? How I feel playing the role, I'm very like excited and everything. Like I love playing her and everything. <laughs> like the mom, the dad, they're, they're incredible actors. Other two who plays Shantan actually, he's really amazing. And I love my character because like she has funny moments, sad moments, and like understandable moments. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would say I am enjoying this because like the scene that we're in is like connecting us. Cause at first we weren't like as close and we were like distant, but now I feel like they could be like my sisters. Like we're very close now. <laughs> and like the cast, like Bryce, Latrice and all of them, I really do enjoy like their parts in like the father and son parts, like they're funny also. But overall, I really like it. Yeah, I agree. The whole production itself, it's really exciting. But with my role, I love it. You get to see that funny and fun and like caring like part of Shantan and then you just get to feed off that. It's really nice. Yeah, um, I feel very invested and involved in my role because it's a very important role that plays that play. It's Brandon, the guy who we don't know what he thought, how it would happen, but I, I was just like to think like him, what maybe happened. Yeah. Okay, so Paris, this is another one for you. How has life affected you ever since? Yeah, so I mean, there's positive and negatives. I think mainly, of course, negatives is kind of obvious. Like, you know, he's no longer with us as far as like being able to talk with us. And, you know, we have to take care of him 24 yeah. seven. But I mean, his story has transcended a lot and it's taken off, with, you know, the play and everything. And I think it's great because it's bringing community together. And now we get to share our story and then we have kind of like a, um, like a purpose now, mm -hmm. which was once pain. So it's purpose in our pain. Okay, that's really cool. Okay. Oh, what was Shantan's goals that he had in life? Oh, wow. So Shantan's goals, I would say, I mean, he he loved basketball. So he did kind of want to be a you know, basketball star, but he was super spiritual. So he actually, his goal was just to, <laughs> sounds silly, but he really just wanted to read the Bible and witness to other people and spread the word to people and just save people. Um, and also uh, getting through school, you know, being with his friends, just like any other teenager in that time. But honestly, it was just to win souls. That was his main goal like, during the time that, you know, until the time he was, uh, until the incident. Yeah. Okay, that's really cool. So I really thank you guys for being a part of my show. Yeah, I really thank you. Thank you, you. Thank thank you. you for hosting. Thank you for having us. No problem. <laughs> Bye. 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 Who you wanna see? Anaya Cronin. Who you wanna see?